Deep Blue, Kasparov Game 6, The Tiebreaker. New York City on May 11, 1997. Deep Blue was stronger than ever, and was unofficially nicknamed Deeper Blue. As it was much stronger than it was during their previous year matches, which ended in a tie. E4. C6. D4. D5. Knight C3. D takes E4. Knight takes E4. Knight D7. And here White played Knight G5. Moving the same piece twice in the opening, hmm. That goes against the classical opening rules, so how should Black play? Continue developing with knight gf6. Or kick the knight out immediately with h6. Not h6. Um. Bad move. Because white has what move? Knight 5f3. Or knight e6. With. Knight e6. Yeah. Good move. If black continues with, f takes e6. How should white continue? With May to follow. Right? Into. Here after queen b6. White has what move? Knight takes f8. And following knight takes f8. c3. Bishop f5. Knight e2. Knight f6. Here, how should white play? a4. F3. Or H3. Knight G3. Is also playable and following. A4. Knight 8 D7. Knight G3. Bishop G6. Bishop D3. White has good position. So instead of playing A6. Black continued with. Knight GF6. Bishop D3. E6. Knight 1 F3. Here, the normal continuation is with bishop d6, as follows. Queen e2. h6. Knight e4. Knight takes e4. Queen takes e4. The same way Kasparov play versus Kamsky, an epishin. This time Kasparov didn't play bishop d6. It's been reported that he wrote an article supporting knight takes e6. As its refutation. So instead, he played h6. The system architect of Deep Blue suggested that this was a deliberate anti-computer move, expecting Deep Blue would either sacrifice the knight and then get into difficulties, or retreat it and lose a vital tempo. White's response was very strong. Knight takes e6. Following f takes e6. Bishop g6. King e7. The black queen can be placed on the superior c7 square. Instead of taking the knight, black played queen e7. Castle. Here, how should black play? Queen takes e6. Or f takes e6. Queen takes e6. Whoa, that's a blunder. Because white has what move? Rook e1. Pinning and winning the black queen. So? f takes e6. Bishop g6. King d8. Bishop f4. For the sacrifice knight, black, having moved as king, can no longer castle, his queen is blocking his own bishop, and he has trouble getting out his pieces and making use of his extra knight, and look at white's bishops, they cut right through black's defenses. So Kasparov continued with b5. That's dubious. It weakens the queenside pawn structure and invites white to open lines. However it does force deep blue to start thinking on its own. a4. Bishop b7. Rook e1. Knight d5. And how should white continue? Bishop g3. Bishop e5. Or bishop e2. Bishop g3. And following king c8. How should white play? A takes b5. C takes b5. Queen d3. How should white support its b5 pawn? Knight c7. a6. But not bishop c6? Um. Bad move. Because white has what move? Bishop f5. Pounding at black c6 pawn and is planning to invade the position with his rooks. Here, how must black play? e takes f5. Surrender his queen. Rook takes e7. Bishop takes e7. 
the queen for the bishop, and rook. However, Hefter. c4. Black resigned. Right? As white's queen will soon invade through c4. Or f5. And one's rook e1. Is played. For example, after b takes c4. Queen takes c4. Question how should black continue? King b7. Or knight b4. Not king b7. Whoa, that's a blunder. With may to follow. Right? In one. And after knight b4. Following. Rook e1. King d8. Rook takes e7. King takes e7. Queen takes b4. And this game's over. After the game Kasparov accused the deep blue team of cheating. Although Kasparov wanted another rematch, IBM declined an end in their deep blue program.